Good evening, guys. I'm sorry. I was speaking mute. Uh, hi, how are you doing? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Esther. Great to see you. Ale, how are you? How are you doing? Is everything okay? Daisy, hi. Guys, can you hear me? Hi. Ingrid, good evening. Consuelo? Hi, hi there. I can hear you now. Okay. So thanks everybody for joining and thanks a lot for like being with us today with number two. We are finishing today our second week of classes in pre-intermediate number two. So it is super great to see you. How was your day, guys? Did you have a good day? Hi, Rachel. Thank you. I'm sorry, Rachel. Leí su mensaje, but I, for, uh, I couldn't uh, text you back. But I hope you're doing just fine. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No worries. I hope your babies get better. Alrighty. So, did you have a good day, guys? Did you have a nice Thursday? Are you ready for a Friday or not yet? So, tell me about it. All good? Is everything okay? Is everything good? Maybe, so-so. Okay, I believe that is a so-so. <laughs> So you come pretty quiet today, guys. Alrighty. Oscar, ¿cómo está su internet? How is your internet doing? Is it better? Está un poco mejor. Veo su micrófono activado, Oscar, but no lo logro escuchar. I cannot hear you. Okay. Si gusta, Oscar, apague la cámara. Turn off your camera para que se le logre estabilizar el internet. So, uh, the, the, you know, the mobile internet gets better. Y, y luego la activa. That is totally fine. Creería que eso nos puede ayudar también. Because se le escucha un poquitín quebrado there. So just a little bit broken. So say good evening. Great to have you. Lisette, thank you for joining. Jose Luis, how are you doing? Okay, guys. Uh, today we're going to get started uh, with part of unit number three. So unit three is about uh, places. We are going to review this like... Está bien, teacher, el internet ahorita. Mm, sí, se le escucha un poquito quebrado, Oscar. It's a little broken, but, but I guess it's because of the, of the connectivity and everything. Already. So, guys, uh, listen up. We, have, uh, we are going to be working today describing some places. No vamos a trabajar tanto en la parte de gramáticas because you already know it. You already know that there the, the is and there are for there is. There isn't any, there are some, is there any? So we are going to focus more in the descriptive part and also in vocabulary as well. So uh, talking about like some places, right? Um, that we can get in the city. Um, can you tell me, so can you tell me guys, which places are very close to your house from this list? So which places are close to your house? Do you have, uh, is there, yes, tell me. A church. Uh, okay, so a church. Uh, a school. Okay, thank you, Jose Luis. So a school, a church, okay. Oh, very nice. Okay, guys, so here we have a couple of places in town. Thank you so much, Luis, uh, for sharing your list. Ronald, good evening. Thanks for joining. So, good evening, um, hi. So, to get us started, guys, first, let's start by repeating some of the vocabulary we have here. So, repeat with me, please. School. School. Supermarket. 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 Restaurant. 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 Bank. 
Bank. Bank. Bank. Bank. Post office. Post office. Post office. Post office. Oh, okay. Library. 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 Police department. Police department. Police department. Police. Police department. Police. Yes. Police department. City hall. City hall. City hall. City hall. Church. 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 Hospital. 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 Department store. Department store. Department store. Hotel. 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 Yeah, uh, motel or a hostel, right? So, motel. Hotel. Motel. Motel. Mm -hmm. Museum. 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 Okay. Uh, movie theater. Movie, movie theater. theater. Movie theater. Theater. Theater, exactly. Fire department. Fire department. Fire department. Fire department. Fire department. Fire department. Okay. Um, the uh, uh, town hall. Oh, sorry, that's a town hall. Mm -hmm. Town hall. Town hall. And prison. 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 Okay, so out of the places that we have here, for example, if we talk about a school, guys. Town hall. Yes, town hall. which, which places prison. can you tell me prison. from school? Where did you study, guys? In which school did you study? Did you study in a private or in a public school? Public school. In a public school. Okay. Private, private school. school. Private school. All right. So we have their school. Then we have supermarkets. So supermarkets, we have selectos. Another one? Uh, Walmart. 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 The, the Maxi. Maxi, Maxi, right? Spencer. Okay, Maxi. Uh huh. Right. Margarita. Price more, exactly. So those oh. are supermarkets. Guys, which do you prefer? Do you prefer Walmart, uh, Super Selectos, Price more, Maxi, Despensa Familiar? What is the other one? Uh, La Despensa de Don Juan. So which do you prefer? Selectos. Selectos. I prefer Walmart. I prefer Walmart. Walmart. I prefer Walmart. <laughs> and Price Mart. Uh -huh. Oh, well, Price Mart, but Price Mart, you need a subscription, right? Yes. You need members, a membership. Members, yeah. Yes, you need a membership. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, that is the bad thing. Okay, membership. But I think that Walmart or Despensa de Don Juan is cheaper. It's un poco más barato. So it's cheaper than Selectos. I don't know, you guys. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. Cheaper, it's much yes. better, right? So I think that Walmart is cheaper, a little cheaper than Selectos. I don't know. So or the expensive familiar, right? So that's cheaper than them. Okay. Uh, then we have restaurant, guys. What is your favorite restaurant? Buffalo wings. <laughs> oh, buffalo. Okay, cool. So <laughs> buffalo wings. All right. That's that's My a nice place. restaurant is San Martin. So, oh, why? Ooh. Pizzas? Yes. Okay, because of the pizzas and the horchata. <laughs> <laughs> they are really good. But, oh, but buffalo's, I love buffalo wings. Okay, what about the rest? What's your favorite restaurant, guys? Do you have a favorite restaurant? Oscar, Oscar, what is yours? What is your favorite restaurant or was it you? Uh, Oscar, se nos está quebrando. Uh, Apaga la camarita si gusta. Turn uh, off your camera moment. My restaurant. Ah. Sí, es que creo que... Ok, díganos hola. <laughs> hola, hola. Sí, se escucha un poco mejor. It sounds a little better. Ok, what is your favorite restaurant, Oscar? Uh, San Marcos. Thing. Oh, yours was a Martin story. Pensé que era el de Ronald. Okay, Ronald, what's your favorite restaurant? Eh, Pueblo Viejo. Oh, well, but mm. Pueblo Viejo disappeared. <laughs> okay, so Pueblo Viejo. All right, Margarita, what about yours? What's your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is Chu, a Yes, and La Cueva. It is in Acajutla. 
Yes. Um, well, what is that? La is that no, like puedo a... no puedo contarlo en inglés, pero el, el restaurante está try. sobre... Try. Sobre the restaurant una... is okay. on. Eh, sobre una... Uh, como un peñasco en un la peñón. orilla de, eh, del, de la playa. Okay, y so... abajo oh. hay una cueva que cruza de un lado a otro. En Acajutla. Uh -huh. I need to go there. I need to go there. <laughs> okay, okay what favor. is the name of the place? Acajutla restaurant is the best for but, seafood. Oh, really? Ah, but, y but, fue almorzar la vez que fue allá a Acajutla. <laughs> <laughs> but the name yes. of, the, of the restaurant is Acajutla restaurant or is Shu? I think Margarita said Shu. What do you say Shu? Shu. Or what is the name? Acajutla. Acajutla. Oh, just like that. Acajutla. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. I heard something else. Oh, okay, okay. Good. So that sounds like a good suggestion. Okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? What's your favorite place? So I need to go to Acajutla. <laughs> and the rest? Girls? Uh, Ingrid? Uh, Ale? Daisy? What about you guys? Consuelo, Ingrid, Ricardo. Uh, teacher, yes. in, in, in my city, uh, there are uh, no good restaurants. There are no good places? Where do you live, Ale? Where do you live, Alejandro? Tensunte, Peque. Tensunte? Oh, yes. okay. So there are no good. Wait, but near Tensunte, after, um, um, after Cedros, after San Rafael Cedros, I think, I am not sure, but I believe there is a famous, I don't know, restaurant or diner. There is a lot of food and you can select what you want, like a sort of buffet, right? Yes. Uh, it's, fa it's, it's famous. Yeah, right? It's famous after San Rafael yes. Cedros, I think. Yes. Yeah, right? Okay, so it's not Sansunte, but it's on the way to Sansunte. <laughs> Okay. 45 minutos, digamos. Oh, 45 minutos. Okay, 45 minutos. Ah, ok. A famous food of the Chintepeque is the pan de papa. Pan de papa. Yes, uh, popular. Yes. Uh, well, en Alejandro says that there are no good places. <laughs> well, but that is food, right? <laughs> Not necessarily places. Okay, okay. Any other place, guys? That's your favorite? Daisy, what is yours? What's your favorite restaurant? Doña uh, what is it, Daisy? <laughs> Can you repeat? Doña Mila. Doña Mila. Where is that? Uh, near the University of El Salvador. Oh, wait. After the photocopy place on the, on the place that is upper. Es sobre calle San Antonio Abad. Ah, oh, or San Antonio Abad. Doña Mila. Eh, But where? Or San Luis? It's not very uh, fe. famous. Mm, or yes. San Luis? Okay, so it's not popular. Okay, they are asking if it is near San Luis. Is it very close to the super, uh, to the shopping mall to uh, San Luis? No. 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 But I think Doña Mila is, how can I explain that? It's very close to Hospital Bloom, right? Not. Now, where, where is Doña Mila, guys? San Antonio Abad Calle. is connection. San Antonio Abad Street is the one that connects uh, uh, Minerva, like the Minerva uh, Constitution. Yes. Okay. Uh, But where is La Prolongación Minerva? de San Antonio? Yes. No. Is it near Torogos? No, uh, near uh, Torogos. Okay, it's near. Uh, wait, wait, wait. El Redondel. Oh my God, where is Doña Mila? I just saw word there. <laughs> Guys, yo solía It's tra not tra more popular. trabajé ahí como more 10 popular. años. So where? Está where por el it? cine, por el cinema. No, she says near Torogos. No, si, si, cinema is uh, Boulevard Universitario. Yeah, cinema uh -huh. is on the other, on the, like, 
two blocks away. Uh, but Doña Mila, where is that? Okay. Not more popular. <laughs> is, isn't it a barber shop? No. Oh my God. <laughs> Miss Wadamel <Mapa>. el <laughs> mapa. So we the location. San Antonio. Okay. Cristóbal Colón. Oh, is it near the park? Is it near the park? Mm, no. Oh. It, near oh the park? No. Near the university. Okay. The university, but you said that it was. Okay, I'm going to try to figure it out because no recuerdo. I cannot recall any place that was called Niña Mila. And I used to work in that area for 10 years. So <laughs> I must know the place. Maybe I don't know the name. Okay, very good. All right, guys. And here we have other places, for example, library, uh, post office, banks. You know what it is. A post office, I think that there is one in Metro Central, right? Uh, so there is one in Metro Central near Galaxy, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and do you know another post office? There is another in Centro de Gobierno. There are not too many. There is one in Santa Tecla near uh, Tienda Morena, I believe. Another one, guys? Do you know any other post office? Not really. Uh, el centro judicial. Centro judicial. Centro. But that is Centro de Gobierno, right? San Marcos. Uh, San Marcos. Okay. Yes, in San Marcos. Office. In San Marcos. I just know the one from Metro Centro. Okay. Okay. So we got post office. Then we have libraries. In a library, you don't buy books. In a library, you only read the books. Um, so you have one near cathedral, right? Near the cathedral. Um, for, one? For, for the moment, no está. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> In construction. Oh. And I'm the <gasps> no, are you serious? Okay. So there no, was. <laughs> futurista. Uh, okay. Probably. Cubos, by China. Right? Probably like the cubes. Okay. So, okay. You have UCA library. You have US library. Yes. You have another one? Chapultepec. Chapultepec. La Chapul la, había una que se la... Wait, no la, la Chapultepec. Chapulte, la, right? la, no, la biblioteca de Chapultepec, algo así. Okay. De la tecnológica. From um, the central judicial, I think, right? Creo que está abajo, no, no está abajo de... Um, Antes de llegar al parque infantil, creo que está por ahí esa zona. I think I have seen no existe, it. Creo yo, pero es antigua, antigua. But yeah, but yeah, you're right, you know. Uh, when for, you go... for BCR Bank. BCR, BCR. But it's on, on Juan Pablo II, right? Yes. yes. Okay. I think I have seen it. I think I have seen it. Okay, okay. Uh, so that is a library, right? So you don't buy books in a library. Then we have a city hall. Um, there is a city hall or a town hall that are like very similar ways in El Salvador. We can call. There is one in San Salvador, only one in Santa Tecla, only one in each different um, city, let's say, right? Uh, normally it's a building and you get your documents. Uh, you can get married and get your documents there. When you have a baby, you need to go there. Um, what else? Uh, oh, you pay taxes. So you pay your taxes in this place. So that is a city hall or a town hall, right? Like an, an alcaldía or an ayuntamiento, that people call it sometimes. So city hall or town hall, there is only one. Uh, there is no like um, where to get lost. Then we have uh, the last one. I think that you recognize the others. And we have the last one that is a prison. Guys, do you live very close to a prison? No, right? Not. Near Mariona, near Carcel de Mujeres, near any of those prisons? No. Do you pass very close to those areas? No. No. Nobody Me. does. You do. For good night. Okay, which one? Me, teacher. 
Okay, where, which one do you go uh, very close to Margarita? Um, estaba, uh, a tres cuadras estaba de la casa. La, the prison. Pero ya la, sí, ya la, ya la cerraron, en el, oh. el año pasado la cerraron, pero sí estaba sobre la, carre, la calle principal que llevaba de la colonia al centro y ahí estaba a la par de una escuela para hacer exacto. Oh, but, but a police department, like a police place or a police station or a prison? Prison. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because I think in San Salvador, you only have Mariona, right? Yes. Uh -huh. And then you have one in Chalat. No, no, no. One in Chalat. That one disappeared, Sacate, right? Uh -huh. One Sacate, in Sacate and one in Isalco, right? Yes. Those are the ones I remember. Okay. So is there any other place like this very close to your house, guys? Uh, I heard Luis said a church, right? But is there anything else? Is there a restaurant? Is there a cafe near your house? Is there a cafeteria or a pizzeria or a bar or a diner? So what is the difference? A restaurant normally is bastante grande. It's very fancy, very picky. And a diner is lo que conocemos como un comedor, right? Un poco más pequeño or a little bit more economic. So what do you have? Or a pupusería. In El Salvador, we can also call them diners. Or pupusería. That is okay. So guys, ¿qué hay en sus casas? I mean, what is there in your neighborhood? ¿Qué hay cerca? What do you find there? Um, teacher, near uh, my house, there is a cemetery. A cemetery or a graveyard. Okay, yeah. so there is a cemetery. Cemetery. Oh, okay. But ¿qué tan cerca, Miss? How close? <laughs> uh, una cuadra antes. Oh, one block away. Ooh, okay. Miss, do you get scared? ¿Alguna vez has asustado? Have you ever gotten scared? No. No, teacher. Oh, really? Okay. A las 12 de la medianoche por ahí. No. So, necroturismo. They... Necro, I think it's called, cool, right? Wow. They pulled his feet. They pulled his feet. Where? Where they see? In the cemetery? In the cemetery? Yes. Ah, or, or they pull. They, they pull. Oh, feet. they pull Alejandra's feet. <laughs> no, Miss. I mean, I live like one, no, probably I live like two blocks away from the cemetery, pero esas, de esos, uh, you know, largotas, estaba bastante lejos, it's very far away. So, yeah, <laughs> but nunca me he acercado, I, I have never gotten that close. <laughs> okay, what else, guys? ¿Qué tienen cerca? What is there, like, very close to your house? Um, next to my house, for example, there is a store um, and the police station is like one block away from my house. There is a church, a super, super big Catholic church. There is, um, let me see, there is a city hall and there is a basketball court and, a, and two schools and there are two schools uh, close to my house. There is a pharmacy or a drugstore. Let me think. There is a liquor store also. Um, and that's it. Oh, and there is a beauty salon. So what about near your houses? So what can we find very close to your houses? In my case, I have near church, a school. Okay. Um, a store. Store, okay. Only one, um, or there are many stores. Many stores. Many, many stores. Many little stores. Oh, okay, like corner stores. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Um, police station. Ah, oh, there is a police station. Okay. Fire department. Wow, nice. Okay. Uh. Supermarket. Wow, you have a lot of things super close, Miss. <laughs> That's nice. Yes. Uh, uh, two 
of two or six, seven um, cuadras, ¿cómo se dice? Blocks. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. sí. Wow. And different, and different. The, in different streets. In different directions. Exactly. Okay. Where do you live, may I ask? Do you live in San Salvador? The, I live in Sonsonet. Wow. Wow. But that is amazing because you have a lot of things super close to your house. I mean, a okay. supermarket, a police station, a fire station. So that is great. All right, guys. If you remember, normally we use that is or we use that are to talk about the places that are around. So there is means only one, right? So I am going to use there is a or there is an. There is a church. There is a beauty salon. If there are two, three, four, five, six, etc., you we can say there are, and you can say the number. There are seven. There are eight. There are nine, etc. But if you remember, I mean. For example, eh, Margarita said, hay muchas tiendas. No me voy a poner a, con a contarlas sometimes, right? Because I will not be able to. So what do I do? Very easy, guys. We are going to use some para hablar la cantidad sin un número específico. So hay algunas. There are some, okay? There are some. There are a lot. Yeah, so there are a lot of stores. There are a lot of churches. There are a lot of uh, pharmacies. There are a lot of houses, a lot of trees. So we have some, para algunos, a lot of, para muchos, or si son poquitos, pero no los quiero contar, I can also use the word a few. So there are a few, hay algunos, hay poquitos, right? So we have a few, we have some, and we have a lot of. Guys, repeat with me, please. A few. A few. A few. A few. There you go. Some. 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 A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. Okay, no me lo separen. A lot of. A lot, a lot of perfect there you go so there are a lot of there are a lot of churches there are a lot of stores there are a lot of se escucha como loro right so there are a lot of that's the way it should sound so and the other one so normally there is es lo mismo but this is for only one object so this is pretty much uh, the description that we are going to be working on today uh, I'm going to write here the number two or more than two, right? Because I can use it for plural words. Uh, just a little reminder, como el segundo, there are, significa que son varios. Si tengo church, for example, yo no puedo decir there are a few church. That is not possible porque estoy hablando de más de dos. So, ¿qué debo de hacer acá? What can I do eh, cuando utilizo there are? Very easy, guys. Vamos a pluralizarlo. So we have to make the plural. There are a few churches. There are some churches. Or there are a lot of churches. Questions? Do you have any questions? No questions, no doubts. Super. Yeah. Super. So let's start working on this. The exercise I have for you today, guys, says describe your city. So imagine, guys, that queremos convencer, we want to convince everybody to go to your city, to visit you, to visit your place. So what I want you to do is super easy. I want you to make like an invitation, okay, to your classmates to visit your place. So, um, we are, more than describing, vamos a hacer como una invitación, right? We are going to make like a sort of invitation. Imagine, for example, that I'm talking about El Salvador, right? And I need to invite 
people from other countries to come to El Salvador. So, puedo comenzar, imagínense como los comerciales, right? So, I can start like, welcome to El Salvador. El Salvador is such a beautiful country. It is a small, but there are a lot of things and a lot of places you can visit. There are some volcanoes and there are a lot of beautiful beaches. Everything is super close. There are very nice people that will help you, etc. Um, so in El Salvador, there are cuantos volcanes hay, guys? How many volcanoes are there? There are some volcanoes. No quiero, no me el número, no lo quiero decir. Entonces, acá utilizo los quantif quantifiers. There are a few, hay un pocos volcanes. Uh, there are a few volcanoes. Hay un par de volcanes. Volcanoes. There are some volcanoes. o oh, hay muchos volcanes. There are a lot of volcanoes. Entonces ustedes deciden. No hay como un número específico que signifique a few, some, or a lot, sino que depende de cada uno, right? Uh, I think, for example, that El Salvador tiene muchos volcanes, porque hay países donde no hay. So El Salvador, in El Salvador, there are a lot of volcanoes. Um, and uh, voy a utilizar también algunas palabras como and... Also, que significa además también. Also, there are a lot of different kind of food. Um, you can find pupusas. There are different types of pupusas and flavors. Um, there are some typical um, drinks too, like something that is called the uh, horchata and the and chicha that is super salvadorian, etc. guys. So, ustedes, you know, you break a leg, all right, and you try to make, this is about El Salvador, but in your case, vamos a hacer una invitación para donde ustedes viven. Puede ser el departamento, puede ser el municipio, lo que ustedes quieran, whatever you want. So, veamos primero si tenemos a alguien uh, que pertenezca al mismo departamento. So, let's take a look if we do have someone from the same. Creo que Oscar tiene problemas con la conectividad. So, let me just stop presenting here. Uh, let me see. Margarita Sonso, right? Uh, Ale Sansunte. Uh, Jose Luis, where do you live? Santa Tecla. Oh, Santa Tecla. Okay, so that's La Libertad. Uh, Daisy, where do you live? I was born in La Paz. Okay, but do you live I, in La Paz? I live, uh, I live in San Salvador. Okay, you live in San Salvador. Ingrid, where do you live? I live in Aguachapán. Oh, wow. Do, no kidding, guys. Todos viven en departamentos diferentes. Wow. Uh, Consuelo, where do you live? I live, teacher, San Miguel. Oh my God. Okay, Ronald, what about you? I live in Santiago, Texacuango, San Salvador. Santiago. Okay, Santiago is San Salvador. All right. Jeffrey, what about you? I'm living in Sensuntepeque, Cabañas. Sensunte. Oh, very yes. close to Ale. Okay, okay. Okay, but but either way, es, ustedes son los únicos, you know, you are the only ones that share the same place. <laughs> Ok, let's do this in a very general way. So, eh, describamos el lugar, guys. You can describe your place. That is okay. We're, gonna, we're not going to work together. Oscar, hi. Oscar? Hi. Hi, Miss. Hello. Oscar, creo que el, el Inter lo está sacando, right? Acabo de leer su mensaje también. Sí, me está sacando mucho, está terrible. Es que yo iba a decir que tengo a, a, do, a tres cuadras el penal también acá. Uh, <ríe> y entonces okay. a nosotros nos afecta bastante. I get it, I totally get it. Y de hecho también esa era la pregunta porque cerca de, de, las, de los, las prisiones, right? Um, hay muy baja conectividad también. So es that horrible, must be the reason. Okay. Yeah. Mantenga la cámara apagada. So try to keep it off. And uh, está en la computadora o está en el teléfono. No, el móvil, teléfono. Uh, okay. So esperemos que, 
que mejore, right? O tal vez si puede como, no sé, salir de su casa, o si tiene patio, probably eh, podría sí, mejorar. En el way. patio estoy porque en mi cuarto no, no me ah, da. Ok, oh, yeah, anyways. Al techo. <ríe> no, ya es kidding. No, ya es kidding. Well, but thank you, le agradezco enormemente, three. Oscar. <laughs> no, be careful. Okay. So thank you, Oscar, for joining. So estamos describiendo, we are describing here eh, your city, right? Or the, el municipio donde vive. Vamos a hacer como una invitación. We're going to try to make an invitation. Um, la mayoría vive en un lugar diferente. Um, just Ale and Jeffrey, they live in the same place. Um, Daisy and, um, and I think that was... Ronald, pero dice me fue Ronald. Uh, they live in the same department, but not the same place. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, no, right, Daisy, you live in San Salvador, so never mind. Okay, that, that's right. So, so I would say you and not there. <coughs> but describamos, guys, hagamos una descripción cortita como una invitación hacia el lugar donde viven. Like, puede ser el departamento, or that can be um, the town where you live. So make an invitation and then we're gonna present it so i'll give you like five minutes ¿Por qué me pasa esto a mí? ¿Y qué le pasó a mí? What's wrong? No, nada. Estoy oh. traduciendo mi teléfono. Oh, ok. I thought something happened to you. Sorry. You scared me, Miss. Gracias, Ingrid. Y espero que, que le mejore la conectividad as well.
One more minute, guys. Time. Uh, are we good? Can we get it started? Can we share what we have? I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. thank you, Ronald, okay? Nice, nice. So, um, well, Rona, let's get started with you. Um, so your place is in La Paz, right? So what can you tell us about your city or about the department? Okay. Uh, in Santiago de Zacuangos, there is access to Ley y Lopango. Mm -hmm. In the public square, there are several pupuserias Ducks are very good. Really? My town has a very cool climate. We have a export complex. Okay. Only this. No, Ronald. <laughs> <laughs> Santiago Texacuango has a lot of things. Yeah. Um, so, do you have, for example... There are very <laughs> tradition. And you have a lot of like diners and restaurants in really famous places. You have Ruta Panorámica too. Ah, pero ya es la parte de La Paz. Mm -hmm. sí. so that is not Santiago. No, es este ya La Paz, Café Santa Cruz, ah, Entre Piedras. Really? Uh, sí, sí, oh, son, okay. Uh, Coffee Lay. Uh, oh, algunos. I thought that uh -huh. it was Santiago. Okay, okay. Sí, sí. 
Es but el just, paso nada más. But you said that there are really good pupusterías, right? Sí, yes. Where? Near the, the market? Mm, sorry? Near the market? Mm, solo a la plaza de Santo Tomás. Santo Tomás. Ajá, selectos, todo la. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's like on the other side. Sí, All a right. la par, estamos a la par. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but pero se la callecita, right? Sí, sí. <laughs> there is yes. a street that divides them. Okay, cool. Thank you, Ronald. That's a very nice You're description. Welcome. Okay, Ronald, select next person, please. Who's next? Ivania, no worries. I'm just reading your, your text. I hope you're good and I'm so glad to hear that your internet is back. No worries. Uh, so, Ronald, ¿qué, perdón, ¿quién eligió? Who, who would be next? Mm, just me. Can you select next person, please? Can you select? Ah, okay. Okay. Eh, Oscar. Ok, already. So, veamos si Oscar puede escucharnos. Oscar, are you there? Oscar? Hello. Yes. Me logran escuchar. Uh -huh. Ok. Voy a intentar porque me está costando, en serio. No worries, no worries. We totally understand that. that is I'll okay. try to describe my, my tone. Ok, very nice. You're, you're invited to know que Saltepeque City. Saltepeque City is a city with many coffee shops, restaurant, hall, campero chicken, um, campestre chicken, and um, other restaurants. Uh, typical, typical foods, um, and there are supermarkets, house super selectors, Defensa de Don Juan, and banks, um, grocery stores, um, handicrafts, um, gas station, um, our marketplace, um, many, many, um, many people uh, very, uh, Mm, es eso? Amable. Fine. So people are really kind. Yes. Uh, um, it's a big city. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, only, only. <laughs> okay. I like it. That is a very nice description, actually. I That's a very no good one. No, no puede decirlo, eh, balneario, eh, la toma. Ah, oh, Saltepeque. that's right. So you have to make a certificate. Uh -huh. So you can call it like a touristic center. There is a touristic center that is called Toma de Saltepeque. Normally no le cambiamos los nombres, yeah. a menos que sea como... Uh, hay nombres que no, no, son bien salvadoreños, you know, pero pertenecen a nosotros, entonces no lo podemos cambiar, so... Yeah, you can say we have uh, Tomaca Santepeque, that is a touristic place. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, si han escuchado, like, um, El Tunco, right? La playa El Tunco. No es que le vamos a cambiar a The, tunco, the, the Piggy's Beach or something. So, siempre va a ser The, the Tunco Beach. That's the one. Okay, thank you. Oscar, who is next? Okay. Um, eh, Erika Alejandra. Alejandra, you are the chosen one. So let's go for it. Okay. Uh, welcome to Sensun the departmental uh, capital. Uh, Sensun is a municipality with very enterprising people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it is very cozy place uh, with um, very lovely people. Mm -hmm. um, one of the tradition is to make uh, the largest uh, carpet in El Salvador during Holy Week. Okay. Um, among the 
de typical things, mm -hmm. eh, ferries, el pan de papa, en, de atol chupo. Okay. Okay. Um, a ver. ¿Qué más? In Sensuntepe, que eh, you will find a super select a family pantry, eh, among other supermar supermarkets. Eh, in the center, there is a very large, large park. Um, Amazing, no? That was a really nice description of Sensunte. That's a really good one. I didn't know that Chuco was so famous in Sensunte as well as Pan de Papa, they said. So I didn't know that. Okay, so that is very interesting to hear. Sensunte is a, a, like a very calm. I like that, that place. It's very calm, very quiet, I think. Okay. Thank you. Ale, who's next? We have time for one more person, I think. One or two people. Okay. Uh, Ingrid? Okay, all right. So, Ingrid, are you ready to tell us about your place? Okay. Aunque yo hice como una descripción como muy general. No como worries, como... that's okay. That sounds good. Let's okay. go for it. Eh, si me, si me eh, falta alguna palabra, ahí me ayudan, por favor. Dale, Miss, no yo problem. Como, eh, welcome to Agua Chapán. Uh -huh. um, a city full of working people. Uh -huh. um, a place which is beautiful. Uh -huh. um, Esa palabra que no la puedo pronunciar, que es como paisaje. Landscape. Ajá, solo lo escribí, pero no lo podía pronunciar. No problem, that's es landscape. La beautiful landscape mm -hmm. en naturales reservas. Mm -hmm. Great rivers and waterfalls. Mm -hmm. Como cascadas. Yes. Ajá. Está como en Atiquizaya, el salto de Malacatipán. Yeah, that's right. Salto. You can find that one. Mm -hmm. Hay ríos. There are rivers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. También hay como aguas There salales, are. como en Santa Teresa. There are. Uh -huh. mm, ¿Qué más? Como reservas naturales, como el Parque del Imposible. Oh, you can say there are some parks. Actually, I think that they are reservoirs. Son reservas, if I'm not mistaken. Uh -huh. But you can say park. There are some national parks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's that's great. a really good one. Yeah, so there is El Imposible and also Trifinio, right? So you got two. So there are two big parks. There are some waterfalls. There are some landscapes. Yeah, that's a very nice, uh, actually, a very nice place. Guys, yeah, it's super beautiful. ¿Qué más hay? Uh, by the way, um, Albania is not there? Uh -huh. sí, yeah, right? So uh -huh. Albania is there. So the, the maze, como el laberinto, the maze of Albania. Uh -huh. Uh, eso iba a poner, pero no sé cómo escribirlo. <laughs> okay, no problem. I, I will help you here. So you have this word. We can use maze. Maze es como el laberinto, right? So you can use the word maze. We have landscapes, que son los paisajes, as you told us. So landscapes. There are beautiful landscapes. And there is a very famous maze. Um, el Paso de Alaska is not there. No, right? That's Santa Ana. Creo que sí. No so. Los naranjos. Los naranjos. Este es en Sonsonate, creo. Sonsonate. Margarita. Los naranjos creo que en Sonsonate. Do you know Margarita? Creo. Sure. Los naranjos. ¿Es los, los naranjos en Sonsonate? Do you know? Is Sonsonate. Sonsonate. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> okay, that's a very nice description, Ingrid. Thank you so much for that. Uh, solamente no se nos olvide la parte de there is, right? There is and there are, para que podamos dar una idea completa o una oración completa. 
Um, alrighty, guys. Unfortunately, uh, our time is like almost over. Solamente a little reminder. Si todavía tenemos pendiente parte de la unidad número 3, recordemos que ahora es el último día para poder completarla and para evitar ¿verdad? que tengamos un call out eh, de parte de, de los compañeros de administración, ya que se envía el reporte a Insafort. Si pueden avanzar y completar todo, al igual que Sara ya lo hizo y completó hasta la unidad número 5, muchísimo mejor. Gracias a todos por estar acá. Yo sé que hubieron algunas dificultades con la conexión, but thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Nos vemos el día lunes. I'll be seeing you on Monday. Have an amazing weekend. Bye, everyone. Bye bye. See you. Bye. 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 B